sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And there you go. Four. Hey, what a quick it, technical thing. Here we are again. Happy as can be. <laughs> oh, good things. And hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome along. Welcome along. Welcome along. I'm Statler. This is Waldorf. Say hello, Waldorf. Hi. <laughs> Are we diddling cock? All right. Fine, thanks. Yes, and you? Well, you know, in, uh, uh, in, 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 in trouble with our lasses, I always am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it's normal. Is it not normal with you? Uh, well, yes, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Jill's so placid. Oh, you didn't want to let her hear you say that. It'd be hell on if she does. Good Lord above. <laughs> I mean, she's, no, no, I've been, I've, I've had to have a tidy out in here and I've got, a, I've measured up and it's going to all get properly furnished out. And really? Oh, yes. When? I don't know. It's, oh. it's appa apparently, apparently, apparently. And you were going to do it? Oh, my hell. <laughs> all right. Can't be doing that. Anyway, yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, Tonight, 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 kanga night is the easiest way to kanga put it. Kanga night. Kanga night. It's all going to be kanga. All kinds of kanga is what we're going to be looking at. Very, very mainstream. Not just kanga, batteries as well. But while I was away, while I, I don't know about you, but while I was away, a lot of people was asking us about ASICs. And when we went off down to Dalton Park the other day, shopping. Oh, yes. You know. Yes. Shopping. Oh, I don't mind shopping. For shoes? No, definitely not shoes. We were no. shopping for shoes. For you? No. Shopping for shoes. Right. I don't mind that if it'd been shopping. For, well, I do mind that. If we'd been shopping for underpants, for her, you know what I mean? I don't mind knickers, but shoes? No. Well, it's like, I'm like that with cushions. Yeah. Shopping for cushions. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Cutting a long story <coughs> short. Yes. Uh, popped into one of the shops where we bought something a few weeks ago and the last was looking at, at me Delta, strangely enough. And I happened to have uh, an Emo, Emo, right. Emo, like that one. Right. Only different with us. And she'd been hunting about for one and we got on talking about that and she was asking about ACIGs and what was a good one to start on. So I've got a selection of, of batteroonies. And was and this tops. a shoe shop? Was no, it wasn't it? Oh. Don't be so daft, oh, right. shoe shop. All right. No. I'm just, no. We went into one. I went into one shoe shop. Then I sat on the seats outside and vaped. Like you do. I'm sure everybody else will. Yes, I mean, you're semi-open air there as well. Slightly. Yes. Mm. Yes. So I, so tonight, because I've been asked about it, I thought, well, why not? Let's, let's go mainstream. Let's have a look at batteries. Let's have a look at... I've kind of picked on Kanga, but it'll relate to other things as well. And we'll have a little natter about that. And then some stuff that I think the um, the people that care about other people might be very interested in. And it's, so it's all good. There's plenty to have a look at tonight. We might run out of time before we run out of material. Right. And that'll be all right. To it. That'll be cunning. And there's, there's little, little topics of discussion as well, because Keith and I were having a natter before we came live and went live and stuff like that live. You know what I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Before we got all posh, actually we're not really posh, neither of us is a member of the Bullingdon Club. I wouldn't be a member of such a low establishment. <laughs> Shall we play the titles before we get taken off air? Yes. Shall we do the usual? Yes. So here we go then. Hello, good evening and welcome to The Here's Hour. Hour. There you are, you see. I just, yes. I just silenced it so we didn't get any echo. 
Yes, I was just reading through chat there, and never mind. Keith was sitting mentioning the City University of Newcastle upon Tyne. They changed the name. Um, we'll not go. We'll not go there, Keith. Yes. Yes, we'll not. No, we'll just not. Um, yes, they're talking about mini pro tanks and spinners, twists, great starters kits, starter kits, stuff like that. That's what it's saying there. Um, the mini says Leanna Lawless. If anything is too small, looks daft on a 22 millimetre mod. This is where we're going to be. This is what we're going to be. Oh, look, I tell you what, let's get into close you up you camp where we've got half a chance and, and start having a look at all of this. Because, now, whoops, look at this. I'm throwing stuff all over the place, Keith. It's Ricky Dandy. Can I just borrow what yeah. you've got in your hand? You can. Because today, he said, going close, close you up, close you up like that, right? This arrived for Keith, well, it arrived yesterday actually. It's a Kangatek Emo, and it was actually sent over by those very nice people at Vapor Bar over in Cumbria, Cumbria, oh, Cumbria where the men are men and the shape are, shape are nervous <laughs> over there, Cumbria, that's where it is. So, that's, well, I might have a look at this battery as well if that's all right with you. But that's that, fine. That, so, and you got, I gave it to Keith earlier on today because I hadn't had a chance to see him before. And you're getting on all right with Oh, that, very you? well. Which, which very okay. nice right let's where do we start well let's let's start with the batteries i think we'll start with yes we'll start with the batteries and i've got a bazillion of the damn things here so close you up we come at these and this is this is a little selection of batteries i think beginners might like to start with um i'm saying beginners improvers in hairdressing parlance would be the word i would use and you'll see that there's I'll move these to one side. These are Joytech batteries. They're both C-coms. Um, I need to put something in for a, 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 a what size they are, so a kind of a comparison. Um, I'll tell you what, what will I use? What will I use? I'll use an Evic Supreme. Right, there's an Evic Supreme for comparison, so you can see where the sizes are. Now, these, these uh, Joytech ones, I've had a better idea. I've got Kalipers. It has calipers, so right, look, I'll switch the calipers on, on camera, like you do, come on, work, on, off, the red, red button, red button, okay, because people like to know how big these things are, don't you know, so let's stick that in, and that comes up, as you can see, at 13 point, nine six is that, 13.97, call it 14 for the sake of argument, and if we take this other one, which is the Bluetooth version, same sort of size. But if we look at this one, which is a Vision Spinner 2, it says there, with an email on top of it, you will see that that is 16.39. And if I then go up to the email that's on top where it joins, look at that. Same size. Oh, yes. The difference is the width of a knit on a Nat's nut. Yes. It's a very, very small difference. And then I've got this one here, which is an Orbit, which is also called a Tesla Spider in other places. This is from, um, well, it says AC Wizard on it, so that's where it's from. And if we measure that up, look at that, 16.5, more or less, 16 half, 16.3. And, and then there's another Vision Spinner 2 here as well. And the reason I've got as many, 16.5. And the reason I've got as many of these is because my darling wife has really, really, really taken to the email. As it has to be said, has cat um, and other of the Kanga, which we'll, we'll look at. Um, I should switch them off really, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's it. Save batteries, you know, try to save the planet one battery at a time. Yes. As Xavier Frost has said, 0 0.02 millimetres isn't really enough to quibble over. I've been, I've been saying that to my wife for years. Who knew? Right, put the put the Evic out the way, David, and then let's have a look because these all of these batteries share something in common and one doesn't. So back to close you up, you can, and we'll look at first off this little beastie here, which is a Vision Spinner Two, right, in glorious livid Technicolor. And if I put it beside this Orbit, you can see size-wise there's a slight difference. The Orbit is slightly longer, yes as you can see at this end here. Orbit is slightly longer. 
in diameter they're about the same but they both share this little bit at the bottom and, if, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get close up enough for you to see but you'll see that it's got voltage marked around there I get the light right which I never do so you've got a little turny knob at the bottom and the little turny knob somewhere on it has an arrow there it is there's the arrow and when the arrow is pointing in this case at 4.8 volts which you can just say C then that's going to run at 4.8 volts all right now the vision spinner in 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 contrast has little detents and if I you might be able to hear it if I get it up close enough to the mic is an mm, you click yes so those little detents you can't only put it to where that those little detents are but you can it gives you some idea of where you're going so we're now at 4.8 volts so if I knock it back the next detent is at 4.3 the next one is at 3.8 and then it'll go all the way down dink to 3.3 and if you've got sticky fingers the beauty about it is it has this little cross hatchy thing in the bottom so you can use a coin you know that's quite handy it will work at various different voltages between those detents though right which is interesting now if i can borrow yours keith thank you very much this emo battery emo i don't really know how to pronounce this emo 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 this works on three different voltages and if you give it three taps you'll see that it changes colour and that's now at 3.3 volts three more taps and it goes up to the middle section which is 4.2 volts and then give it another set of taps and it goes green like that or in this case switches off you idiot don't put it back on one two three and that goes up to the top end so this is variable voltage if you like it kind of takes the detents and works out people tend to be in three different places and then it whacks it up to where it wants to go and that i'll give you that back keith thank you, thank um, you. on the joytech one you will see very similarly to before but this time you've got a very smooth knob don't look at me keith i wouldn't have dreamt looking lena marie <coughs> popper torsen has said she calls it an emu Cat calls it a meow meow. But she won't. The emu. Yes. She calls it meow meow. But that's because <coughs> she's a cat. Meow. <coughs> yeah. yes. yes. And that's fine. That's fair. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I tell you what. I'm gonna do. I'll go back to wide because I want to get in really close on these, and I can't get in really close unless I change the way the camera works. Pain in the backside. I'm sorry about this, but it's just at the wrong distance. I'm gonna have to get another super close up. He can I think. Tell him that role mode is on. Press me and you, and you'll hear it beep, and right, now I can get up close and personal, and we'll be able to see what's going on properly. I'm going to get really close. And this is, this is the issue with us old blokes. You can see there how faint it is. 7.7 .7 watts, 9.2 watts. And the little indicator is there is currently at 10 watts, right? Mm -hmm. But you still just turn this bit at the bottom exactly the same as you would with the Orbit and with the Vision Spinner 2, right? But obviously this is the narrower one. Um, there is an alternative and that's in this other battery which we'll look at after the break. So, right. Why is, why is being able to vary the voltage or vary the wattage a good thing when i popped round with your email mm -hmm. this afternoon mm -hmm. we tried it at the three different settings didn't we yes and you found one you liked with the um the insert that came with it in the tank as it was out yes. the box in other words yes. and you're running at the highest voltage aren't you yes so that's that's 4.8 volts and it's probably running at close to 10 watts it'll be roughly around about where it's at um and i've just missed that about dd's postman no they, they bring an articulated lorry to our house um so the idea behind <coughs> it is and this, this is what i think is very very important 
When I first got a start, donkey's ages ago, you had to go and get a mod, a box mod or whatever it was, or try and find low resistance coils or whatever in order to try and get the experience you wanted. And it was, quite frankly, a pain in the jacksy. And anybody that's been around any length of time, I think, will probably realise that. It just, it was a pain, wasn't it, Keith? I mean, you know, you would, you'd be sucking away on something and thinking, it's all right, but I want a bit more. Yes. You know, it's all right, but I want a bit more. Well, when you start looking at these here, variable voltage jobbies, or variable wattage jobbies, depending on how they're being sold, you can just turn the knob. You just turn it up or down to sell it yourself. Start in the middle and go in any direction you like. And it just then, if you stick with one kind of device on top, it makes it a lot simpler, do you not think? So, uh, it's interesting that, because how would you compare that with the digital display? That's, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Mm. I, look, for, for a donkey's age, I was using the Evolve Kick in all of my mods, to, to turn a mechanical mod into what was effectively an electronic one, a power controlled one. And with the kick, you would set the little knob on the inside, you would set it to where you want it, and once it was working the way you wanted it, you just left it alone. Yes. And to a large degree, um, I kind of don't worry too much about the display. Sometimes I want to know what I'm doing, but otherwise, I mean, out, outdoors, for instance, let's, let's, let's go back to the Avic Supreme. Outside, on, on a bright and sunny day, you can't see, see the it. display. So you've got to go by what you taste. You've got to go by the amount of heat that's coming in. You've got to go by what you experience. And if, if it's like that on a, on a hot sunny day, or a bright sunny day, then if you can get used to that, and just by turning a knob on the bottom, it's a bit like, I mean, there's a friend of mine, right? His dad doesn't believe in bass. Right. Right, so on their stereo system in the house, the bass is not allowed to go above 10 out of 100. Really? Right? Now, I was a sound engineer for a very large part of my life and have very good hearing for frequencies. Right? You've yes. got to have to do that job. And I can tell you now that if the display said 11, you wouldn't notice the difference in the bass between 11 and 10. You hear it. But you wouldn't hear a difference in the bass between number 10 on the display and number 11 on the display. So what does he mean by he doesn't like the bass? He just doesn't like it thumping. He likes all the bottom well, end of anything taken out. He doesn't need to thump. I mean, you balance it. Yeah, but it, his idea of thumping and my idea of thumping right. is very different. If he thinks 11 on his scale of 1 to 100 is thumping and 10 is acceptable, that's as much as he wants. I would be looking at 99 is thumping. It, it just depends on your definition. It reminds me of organ pedal depths. Pardon? Organ pedal depths. I'll put you full screen to see that. Organ pedal depths, what the hell's one of them? Well, where, you, you know, can change the depth of your pedal, can't you? Apparently you so. Know. Yes, all right, it's I'm bad. with you. I mean, yeah, look, let's, let's be right about it. When you see a change of 0 0.1 watt, <coughs> yes. you'll not be able to notice that much of a difference, I wouldn't have thought. No. And I've got to be honest, I know roughly the ballpark of where I'm going, and I know that for a given device, <coughs> I wanted it 18 watts, 14 watts, 12 watts, wherever. That's roughly where I'm going. Well, I mean, there's I a certain simplicity about that, though, isn't there? That, you know, you've got your, your dial and your arrow, it's, it's, uh, it's great if you can see it. Yes. It's great if yes. you can see it. When we, when, actually, when we come back after the break, which is coming up very shortly, um, Joytech has a Bluetooth equipped Seacom, which I bought, I bought one off, I bought the battery off. And it works onto the iPad and onto the iPhone and stuff like that. And for a bloke like me that's deaf as a post, no, blind as a bat. I was going to say. Deaf yeah. as a post, blind as a bat. Deaf as a bat, blind as a put. Any look, we'll have a look at that after a while. But look, all I'm saying is, if you if you've tried 
what you might call a starter kit ASIG that has no variation in the control, then have a look at something that's got variable voltage on it and that fits the style of the, of the thing you're looking at. When we come back after the break, I'll have a quick look at, this, at, at how this Bluetooth thing works. And then we'll get onto the devices that go on top because they're all different sizes and you can make them up to look really good with all sorts of things. So we'll be back in a couple of ticks. Goeth the nowhere. Uh, there it is. Back in a tick. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out. Often imitated, never duplicated. Award winning service and products from cloud9vaping.co.uk. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out. And we're back, we're live, live. I didn't have to push a button to do it. Are you having trouble reading them, Keith? Yeah, you've got to have the light just right. As I say, I wouldn't care that there's room for those to be a little bit bigger. There is, but I mean, well, I mean, try top pocket and that one. Top pocket, you man. Have a, have a try at that. Oh, yeah, comfortable. It's not wrong with that, pocket. is there? I mean, that would top pocket. No, top pocket really Definitely. nice. Well, there's a Bluetooth version of that, and I've got it here. He said, going up the closer you'll become. <coughs> um, and, oh, lordy. <laughs> Zoom out, David. It's way too big. Right. Zooming out, this is the Bluetooth version of it that I have in my hand now. Um, this is the Seacom, and that's a little bit blurry, I do apologise. There you go, blind as a bat. Um, and you'll see on the side that there's a little bit of a difference from the normal one, in that there's a little Bluetooth icon. And when you press the button, you'll see it lights up. I'm assuming that's blue. But being a bit colour blind, yeah, it is. It's definitely not white, it's blue. Um, so that, that works with an app that you download from the App Store. All right. And I have the app here tonight. And let's, let's talk it through a little bit. There it is. There's the app. Auto to it, David. That's the app. This is what you see. And when you're running it, uh, it's key one in and then, then I'm there, right? So when you, when you actually use the thing, you'll see that it tells you you've used it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's gone up 52 puffs equal to three let's let's go through the setup from the start go to settings right and 36 milligram per millimeter nicotine and you can vary that to wherever you want it all the way up to 50 milligram they've been listening so i'm going to set it back to 30 36 because that's where i want to be i reckon a fag 16 puffs if there's any equivalent at all, I would have taken 16 puffs off a fag. And it's there's only dollars, it doesn't do pounds, but they're around about eight quid a pack. So we'll call that done. Let's have a look at the rest of it. It's got location, time and all the rest. So it shows you where you've been using it. And this is this is a map of my house, look. <laughs> God. 
Right? So you can say what well, I you say when I was next door. Blimey. With it. That's a little bit clever as well. Um and that was just today. Let's go back home and see what you can do. Right, so instead of messing about with the knob at the yeah. bottom of the e sig, you can use that. God. I'll crank it up to full chat. <coughs> Whoops. Did you hear the ding? Yes. Uh -huh. Dings at you. Mm -hmm. Now isn't that clever? That works quite. I'll take it down to five. So that's three point five volts because it, it's a two point four ohm resistance on the coil. And the difference is astounding. You know you were saying earlier, like the crattle. Yeah. Ten watts. Come on. 10 watts crackle. Yes. So you could sit with your iPad and fiddle about and faddle about to suit your bit self. Very clever. It is a bit clever, isn't it? It's just, just a touch clever, is that? That, that I think, works out really rather well. Um, so let's cut back to uh, cut back to the big shot, doink, like that. It, it, and that's, I can see that there'll be a lot of, uh, a lot of the stop smoking services, the Granny Louises of this world, Louise Rosses of this world, that would find something like that very useful. And in fact, people that have decided that they want to use e-cigs not just as an alternative, but what I would consider to be slightly in the wrong way, something like that would appeal. And I know um, a couple of weeks back, Matt, Gerrish was looking at it on the show with no name, not this particular one, but another Bluetooth attached one, where you can change all your values by Bluetooth. I quite like that. That appeals to me. It appeals to me as a techno nerd. You look yeah. quizzical. Yeah. So you buy, you buy the app? App's free. All right. Funny Trickster has just said, it all looks good, but how long will it be before the novelty wears off? That's a very good question. And to a large degree, I said, well, I, you say I don't know. Because these days, you can control the lights in your house off your iPhone. You can control your telly off your iPhone. And at the launch of the iPhone 6 a couple of weeks back, um, they were talking about, I think it's called HomeKit which means you'd be able to turn the tumble, tumble dryer on and off with your iPhone. You can do set the washing away. In fact, there's adverts about the connected yeah, washing setting, machines. Setting the heating and all setting the rest the heat, of it. You, you, yeah. People are going to, seriously, in the, in the future, when the Jetsons are around, people are going to be doing this all the time. They just, they are. They're going to be controlling everything off their iPhone or, you know, other smartphones are available. <coughs> But they're going to be using their phones for everything. Opening the garage door when you turn around the top of the street. Go and buy the interweb over 5G or 7G or whatever G it is when we get there. Um, setting the washing machine away. Setting the dishwasher away. Setting the coffee maker away. So when you come in, it's heated up and ready for you to go. And you just need to put your cup underneath. All of that kind of stuff. Everybody's going to be doing off their iPhones. Why not control your AC off one? I mean, I know it seems a little bit daft. Stick it on the orbit. I think it looks a little bit lost on there. Right? That doesn't look brilliant on there, but it doesn't look bad either. I'll take your point, yes. Right? It would look a lot better, I think, an email looks better on there. But by the same token, if you were to put the Mega on, that too looks daft, but in a different way. Mm. Yeah. A, a lot of people would not be happy being seen wandering about with that, no. even with a, a, a beauty ring on it. So getting the right eyes, I think, for the device, I think is quite important, from just from the aesthetics. And people will understand when they look at this one that I am indeed colourblind, because I can see the look on your face. <laughs> and apparently that's not a good combination, is it not? No. No. Okay, fair enough. But that fits beautifully, doesn't it? And it's quite smooth and quite nice. I'll, I'll stick it on, on another one, just, just, just because. 
You can see what's happened, you see, is my darling wife has run off with all the ones that match. Right. So yes. we haven't got any blue batteries. I think this is a blue one. Right. We'll have no blue batteries. So she's, she's taken all of the ones that match batteries and I'm not allowed to touch them. Oh, I didn't know she did that sort of thing. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. oh, she can be vicious. <coughs> I've been earning right. some brownie points, though. Anyway, look, let's, let's kind of move those off to one side. So this, basically what I'm saying is when it comes down to these aero tanks and genie tanks, um, and genie tank is the new name for the aero tank. There's the boxes, look. <coughs> Kangatech boxes, new airflow, new atomizer. So the atomizers come in all kinds of different powers. So you've got... 2 ohm, you've got 1.2 ohm, you've got another box of 2 ohms, another bo and a box of 1.5s, two boxes of 1.5s and a box of 1.2s, but as you can see here, they'll go down to 0 0.8 ohm. And John Diver was telling me he loves his aero tank with the 0 0.8 ohm coil in. Right. Now then, Keith, you will need to know for your email how that all comes together and I've got to keep an eye on the time otherwise I'll get myself all mucked up and all over the place so right here's an emo one of which I have another one of which I have bought so Jill's got all kinds of different colours oh look she right. hasn't nicked them I've got a oh look 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 I've got a red battery as well get in red emo meow 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 ow meow more more home I don't know Kizzy says the genie tank is just a cheap and made version of the aero tank. I think it's, yeah, you might be right. It feels as solid, works just as well, but it's all down to the atomizer. So let's show you how this all comes together then, Keith, shall we? Right, this is the atomizer unit. And that, I think, is one of the older style ones. Because the new ones, if I can find them, I'm going to put a 1.2 in, because I want a 1.2 in. Where's a 1.2? Would be the box you didn't pick up, David. I don't know. Right, 1.2 one going in. Do it all on camera, and it works so much better. Right, 1.2 one. So here it is. And, look, you don't need scissors to get them out. And you'll see, if I can get it close enough up, you might be able to see that there's a difference between the two. The new ones have two holes. The old ones have one hole at the bottom. You see two holes oh, yes. versus one hole. So let's put the new one in and don't, don't get it the wrong way around because I did the first time I did it, I put it in upside down and unfortunately it screwed in. I couldn't understand why I couldn't get the tank back together. Right, so we'll put it in the right way. And what I've been doing whether it's right, wrong or indifferent, I don't know. Neither do I care. But when you're starting with a new one, I have a tendency just to put two or three drops of liquid it's really priming it down the centre just to give it a prime. And I put a little bit of liquid on them because I'll do that before I get a start, you see. So that just gives chance for everything to get itself sorted out. And then... As, as is all, take the mouthpiece out so everybody knows it's got a removable mouthpiece, put it there and then you fill it down the side as per normal. It's becoming the way of the world with bottom coil devices. And I have to say, oops, I do prefer the bottom coil device, I've spilled juice. Oh no, I'm sure there'll be some law against that somewhere. But it's alright, I spilled it on the paper so I won't die. I will lick it though. Nice. <laughs> I clean it up so I don't die. Got on my fingers. I'm not dead yet though. If I need to kiss a life, I'll let you know. And then you screw it back together. I like the idea that you've got this airflow adjustment on it. He said screwing it round to find the airflow. Look at that. All the airflow adjustment you could possibly want. Now you're still going to need to leave it for a few minutes. Even though I've primed it. So I shall screw it onto the red battery. And the this reds is clash a bit, don't they? <laughs> Do they? Yeah. 
What, what, what? One's metallic and one's Oh, solid. look, Lena Marie popped a toast and says, don't dive, Dave. Don't die, Dave. Oh, said, don't, oh thank you, Lena. nice? Thank you, Lena. <coughs> yes. Prime those coils. What? Where? Sav's type and just mathematical symbols. Can't say what you're saying. But never mind. Right, where was I? Yes. That was just to allow everything to work. And I'm going to turn it up. Well, what I'll do... I'll turn it down to 3.3 .3 volts, so it's all the way down on this. Are you sure with those reds on this here? Certain. Does it look... Hang on. Go to David Cobb. Oh, it looks all right, doesn't it? Does it look bad? Oh, from a distance, yes. That's good. It's not up to much at 3.3. is it? So I'm going to whack it up to 3.8. Right. How's he doing? All of a sudden, we're getting better. Yes. 1.2 ohms, remember? Yes. So we're now at 4.3 volts. That's freshly charged battery. Really? On a, on a, you know. Who on earth is the mage of doom? Xavier Frost denies my death. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. 4.3 volts. Suddenly we're starting to cook, aren't we? Yes. All the way up to the full 4.8 volts that this will put out. Where, where, where? What, what? Moonlit has said the reds are slightly different, but he'd be happy with the colour scheme. Mike Brown says those reds look the same shade of brown to DD. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> it is a problem. It really is. And as Moonlit has pointed out, 3.3 .3 volts is roughly bugger all. I'm whacking it up, Paul XB8, bit by bit. This is 1.2 ohms, remember. This is quite low for a battery of this size. That's all right. But I'm, what I'm thinking is that maybe the 1.2 is a bit on the low side. Yes. So... Here's the big test. Oh, 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 this is going to be fun. I'm going to whack it on the Evic Supreme. I'll have to take its ring off first. Might as well do it on close up. You can't do the close up stuff in close up, Dave. Right, so on the Evic. Ah, now there's a problem. It won't screw far enough down because it's too big for the Evic Supreme. Right. Oh, no. So, Avic Supreme out the way, and let's go to the 722. Take the Giant off, and I happen to know that this will cope very well with the 1.2, because you will have noticed there was a 1.2 taken out of that other packet. So now we'll put it on, and it's going to look stupid. <laughs> it's going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger walking along with a chihuahua on a piece of string. It's unbalanced, isn't yes. it? Yes. And it's definitely, if we, if we have a look, be able to see, it's showing the 1.2. And it's, a, according to this, 3.8 volts. I'll just check it. 3.8 volts. Right. Back to big cam. Yes. That's better. Yes. So I shall whack it up even further. One, two, three, four, five. System on. And I'll just do it. And take it up to a yeah, nice wattage. I'm thinking 18 or so. That'll do. 18, doink, it's close enough. Right, just for those who don't believe, close you up your car. 18.2 watts, 4.67 volts. Now, if that little battery was actually putting the 4.8 volts out, it promised to, into a 1.2 ohm load, I'd be very surprised. Oh! -hoo. Yes. Yes, it wasn't. So the, the thing is, really, if you're going to use these batteries, these little diddy batteries, 
rather than a big humping great big battery like that. And then you probably need to be looking at the 1.5 or the 1.8 ohms. Um, and we need to take the second set of adverts, otherwise I'll be running over time. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes, and when we get, we'll keep on talking when we come back. Back in two. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. Vapors, do you love discovering new e liquids? Tell Dripper the types of flavors you like, and they'll send you five gourmet juices each month. Experience new and exclusive flavours, all with a money-back guarantee and free delivery anywhere in Europe. Dripper.co.uk Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquids. Proud sponsors of Vaping Entertainment on Vapor Trails TV. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Hour. And we're live again. We're back. I've just, just discovered that uh, YouTube's been playing silly burglars. It says here. It jumped back the start for a few people. If they're back at the start, it's no point in me saying just click where it says live, which would be um, over there somewhere, I think. A little live button. If it's red, you're live. Do a jolly pies for that. Well, I, I don't know why I'm apologising. It's YouTube because it's all going out perfectly from here. Because I, I, I have a little, little thing that shows me and it's going out perfectly. But there you go. Um, yes. This does bring up the whole idea of 150 watt box mods and 50 watt box mods and all the high wattage stuff, doesn't it? It all gets very technical, doesn't it? It does a bit. Bottom line on it is headroom, that's all it is. That little vision battery, right, that battery there, patently cannot drive a 1.2 ohm coil at its full output. Right, yes. Right, it just, yes. it, the, the battery's just <coughs> not capable of doing it. It won't do it. You need 1.8 or 2 ohms in one of those for to make it work. Really. Entropy just clicked on Keith's groin and it didn't go live. What? God. And very boring said you can get 175 watts and they're aiming for 200. Seriously, honestly, truthfully, it, it, that's not for me. I'll have a look at them if anybody cares to let me have one to have a look at. But quite honestly, most of the time I don't venture beyond 20 watts. Sometimes up to 30 if I feel like messing about. But it's, it's only to mess about, it's only to test stuff. The rest of the time I'm running at around about 18 watts on just about everything um, so that's that's worthwhile noting um, what I was going to say about these Kangas right the whole notion of them being based on these coils they all take these coils everything the email the aero tank the Jenny tank they all take these coils 
and it would seem that because of the way they made, the distances vary between the, the mouthpiece and where the coil is, but not by a great deal. If I bring those back into shot, you can <coughs> see that the distance between where the coil is and where the end of the mouthpiece is is not that great. But all, all of these take the same coil, including the Mini. Put the Mini in shot, David. Um, and that being the case, once you've worked out that a two ohm coil works well for a battery like this, or like this, or like this, any of these batteries with a two ohm coil, 1.8 ohm or two ohm coil, you know where you're at. The, bottom, the button on the bottom will work. So you'll be able to change the voltage to do what you want to do. Mm. And there's no need to go any further. I mean, that's that's a 1.8 that's in there, and you're running that at 4.8 yes. volts, and it's working fine for you. Fine, perfect. And that's that's kind of that's where it needs to be, and it it simplifies everything because I think I've thought for a while we get too bloody complicated about all this, you know. So, really do. I, I, I mean, they're pretty universal, then, aren't they? That's that's what you're saying. You know? um, I think I think what I'm what I'm saying is there's 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 now that won't fit on. Yes. And there's there's now that won't fit on and look good. I mean, holding that one up to the camera, that just looks smooth as. Mm. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. You know, it's sleek. It's designed to be together. It doesn't look massive if you were to compare it to an no. ordinary ego. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, well, I tell you what, I'll, I'll get the Swiss EFAG out, the Swiss Shisha, and you know, if you put the two together there, get them so people can see them, David, you put the two together, it's not out of the way, is it? It doesn't look badly. Nice piece of kit, I think. Anyway, there you go. Good I'll give you a kit, that. But it's, and it's, you know where you're at. And you do know as well, if you move on to something bigger that'll take it, and that's where we get into uh, the likes of the the giant, the ja come on, David, the giantomizers, if you want to call them that. And I'm I'm messing about here upside down. For some reason, the nerves have kicked in. It's hearing that YouTube's making a mess of things for us. I hate that, absolutely hate that. I will put the uh, the giant or back on. Do it on close you'll become David, then people can see what you're doing. On on the 722. Right. I'll I'll go back to that shot and show you something. You'll have noticed that I only snugged it down so far and then take the gap up with the collar. The reason being, if you snug it down too far, it'll short out. Right, so I mean that's back to your point of weeks ago yeah. about not yeah. once tightening. It's made, once it's once made contact, it, yes. leave it alone. But you'll see from the display that that's 1.8 ohms, there or thereabouts. Give it a little, tiny little wee snug. That's a 1.8 ohm coil. And that's, that's doing the job for me. I mean, that's, I normally would run that at around about 15, 16 watts. Right. But that works nicely. That does the job. With about 18 watts being your... It seems to be my sweet spot at the no. minute. Yeah. I wouldn't go much above that. I'll just uh, whack it up to 18 and then we'll, we'll see where it's coming from. 18 and a half. It's close enough for jazz. I'm not... You know, I, I keep seeing people saying, oh, well, it only goes up in half watt increments, not 0.1 watts. Seriously, if you can tell the difference between 18 and 18.1, you're a better man than I am, Gunga Dean, because I can't. <coughs> yes, it's a 722, Rob, Rob Tafey. 722 I've got on here. I'm toying with the idea of a 730, but I've got the T, um, the ZNA50 coming through, which I'll have a look at. That's nice. That works really nice at 18 watts. So, 
So yes, I quite like the Kanga system. I actually do like the Kanga system, um, and it's one of the uh, one of the staples. If I'm out and about, I've always got the 722 in the car with the uh, the Gianto on it, and I mean this I have to say goes everywhere with us uh, because I like it. And Jill is using the uh, the Kangas, and actually I've nicked two of her batteries tonight, the two silver ones. I know, I know, I know. I had been building up brownie points. But apparently, um, she's told me this, if we go anywhere posh, I have to take the Joytech ones. Yes. In which case, I'll be taking the Bluetooth one because it's easier for me to sort if I need yes, to sir. sort it on the fly. Plus, I've got the clear tank on that one uh, because they do a, a, a clear tank for the Joytech. Look at that, get it in. It's sort of elegance of it, I suppose. It yeah. is. There is there is a level of elegance that, <coughs> yeah. I, that I do quite like about it. Um, it works quite well. Um, and I, and I, d I do like the Bluetoothness of it all, I've got to be honest. And it's there pocketable, of course. It, it, yeah, ah, yes, I forgot about that. I'll move them over here out the way. Very wise. Yeah. Very yes. wise. So, aye, um, it's all good stuff. And I've... What's that? The 7.30? Somebody said something looked nicer. I'm going to tell you what's, what's going to be coming up in, in next week's show. Um, at the same time as Keith got... His emo, I got sent something as well. I want you to have a look at this. Look at that. That there is a 10 milliliter tank. It's called a Big Buddha. It's about the size of a shot glass, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yes, it probably is. I could, if, if I took the inside out and unscrewed ah. the top, it would make a nice shot glass, I think. Ah. Um, I'm going to have a look at this next week. And it is, it's derived from... The K-Fun, but, it's actually derived from the K-Fun Lite Plus, but you may notice it has two, set, two sets of air hole screws because this is specifically designed for dual coiling. Um, and I, I emptied it just in case we needed to, to look at it tonight. Um, but we'll have a look at that next week. Um, and that holds 10, 10 milliliters. 10 milliliters of God. juice. Mm. For under, under 40 quid as well. That's got to be an attraction. With Pyrex and it comes... We'll look at it in detail next week. Take it from me. It's nice. There's one or two gotchas, but it is nice. And I'll run through the gotchas and tell you how to get past them next week. I'll coil it all up from scratch and show you how to take it to bits and put it back together again. You might like what you see. That'll be next mm. week. And there's more stuff coming up as well, of course, because the team is in full effect at the minute. Have a look. back live in the room not only will we be looking at the big buddha <laughs> next week but keith's been in bother haven't you i have she's been at him he's been telt haven't you yes what have you got to do i mean this phobia women have with tidiness and me bread bins a mess <laughs> <laughs> so next week well the bread bin is where keith keeps all his kit isn't it it is so yeah. next week we're going to go through the bread bin and chuck out 
the stuff that wants chucking out and look at the stuff that's in there this is going to be a blast from the past because i had a quick look at it this afternoon and seriously keith she's right <laughs> one sort yeah yeah into some sort of order where you know when it's a mess like that you tend not to use some of the stuff mm -hmm. so yes that would be good that so we'll do that i'll have to set up special cameras for this i think so we'll have a big bin have to be sort of panoramic uh kind of yes now funnily enough i i tend not to watch chat too tightly but i've just been watching this and Funny Trickster has said, with his Nautilus, he doesn't let it drop below halfway. Yes, all of these bottom coils, and none of the, none of them, right, none of them are exempt from this. All of them, at around, somewhere between halfway down and two-thirds down, you get gurgling. They gurgle like buggery and will occasionally leak. Depends on the thickness of your juice. I find using almost 100% VG. That I'm two thirds of the way down. I tried with a, with a PG juice the other day, and about half the way down, it got really gurgly, and started to leak a little bit. And that was all of them. It's I've not found one that doesn't do it. Worthy of note is that one. Xavier Frost has said yes. Bin sorting party. This will be all good. Bin sorting party. They, <laughs> Blaze. Yes, I'll have to I'll have to get Keith Lemon across. What kind of vapor uses a bread bin like this? We'll do the Keith Lemon, yes. No, it's got Fruit. to be seen to be believed. Absolutely, it? it has, has. So, so next week, the show will not be titled the Here's Hour. It'll be entitled <laughs> Through the Bread Bin. Through the Bread Bin. Through the Bread Bin. So you don't think I should tidy it a little bit beforehand? No, no good no. God, no. Bring it as is. Right, on. Bring it as is. Right. It'll be good. Somebody said they should design a BDC that wicks like a K-phone. K-phone's leak. And Rath McCann says vapor does cause a runny nose for him at times. You're not supposed to snort it. <laughs> a runny nose. Disco Des says he gets no gurgles on his. Gurgles is distinct from cracking. Oh yeah, crackling, crackling, crackling not crapping. Crackling. Uh, crack, yes. That's what I said. Yes, without a doubt. Big Russian does. Hers does. Ceramic man bin. I'm, I'm not even going to start reading chat, otherwise I'll just get caught up with it. Have you seen what the time is? It's ten o'clock. Good heavens! Yes. The time we weren't here. Yes. Now is the time to say goodbye. Now is the time to yield this high. Yield it. Yield it. Now is the time to wend our way. What is it? That? Cider. S Until we meet again, <laughs> some sunny. That's from Keith. way out of key. It wasn't. No, that's a different song. Is it? Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Sing it again. No. Nah. All right. <laughs> it's time to go. Hey, it's been great spending the last hour in Keith's company. I'm with you, on it? It's been good. It has been good. Uh, yes. Thanks to Sav for timing us in um, and, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, don't forget to tune in for RY4 Radio, which goes out after here. And I am told we'll have video adverts for RY4 next week. Not telling you where they're coming from. So we'll see you all next time from all of us here. Vape on. Do it with us. Vape, Vape hard, hard. And do not, not let the bastards, bastards grind, grind you down. down. Till next time. JD bye. Ta da. Bye. Sponsors of the Hayes Hour.